<laughs> What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. Welcome back to part 30 and my last episode of How to Sneak Food into Class. Now, this is a compilation of my top 10 How to Sneak Food into Class methods of 2018. Before we get started with this video, guys, know that I may in the future bring the series back, but as of right now, this is the last episode. This is part 30. We started with just one in 2016 and we're ending it in late 2018 with part 30 guys. So I really appreciate you guys helping me build this series and I really appreciate everybody's support. How about giving this series one last like guys? Hit that thumbs up button and check it out. Now I've shown you pranksters many times how you guys can sneak candy into class using glue sticks. Well this next one is a really clever one because it's just perfect. Now I love Mexican candy guys and I believe Mexican candy is the best candy in the world but that's just me. And one of the reasons why I think Mexican candy is one of the best is because they come in all shapes. They're not plain. For example, we're going to be sneaking some of this spicy candy into class and if you notice it's just the straw that's covered in candy well that is perfect for what we're gonna do next so for this hack you're gonna need some of this candy and a glue stick let's start off by emptying out the glue so we need to take out the whole stick from inside you can do this by twisting the bottom and just wait till the glue goes all the way to the top once it can't go anymore that's when it's loose and you just pull it out. There's nothing in there, right? Except for a little spiral stick that's in the center. That's part of the mechanism that makes the glue stick go up. Well, what we're gonna do right now, guys, is we're gonna clean the inside. We need it to be super clean because that's where a candy is gonna be. So I'm gonna go rinse this out and make sure it's super clean to start working on our little hack. All right, I did the best I could, guys, but the inside of this glue stick is now super clean. Also, good thing that the glue is non-toxic because I don't want my candy touching any glue residue. But I did the best job I could. So what we're going to do next is we're going to open up our candy. And I'm going to show you what this is all about, guys. Because this candy is awesome. Let me grab my scissors for that. So basically, it's a straw, as I said earlier. And it's covered in candy. It's spicy and there's powder to it. In fact, there's powder inside the bag, which is what we're gonna be dumping inside our glue stick. But I just want you guys to look at this candy right here. It is longer than our glue stick, so we are gonna have to trim it down a little. So I'm gonna be taking a knife and trimming it down so it's smaller. So I split it in half. This is the part that we'll be using because it still has a little bit of straw sticking out, which is pretty much the handle, guys. It's like a popsicle stick, basically. And notice that the spiral stick goes in perfectly. So it slides in and out. All right, so far so good. The next step is to actually pour some of that powder, which is like chili powder inside the glue stick. All right, that works. This will stick onto our candy every time we lick it so we get more flavor with each lick. All right, and I'm making a mess. So we're almost done here. This part right here, the straw part, we are gonna glue it on the center of the cap. So get some hot glue and stick it on there. So I'm gonna take my hot glue, add some in the center, and then stick my candy on there, just like that. Now that it dried up, guys, we can put it inside the glue stick. Just like that. And that's it, guys. Have this in class. Keep it in your supply box. Whenever you guys get hungry or are craving some candy, just take it out. It's like a push pop. It's pretty cool, guys, because you pull it out, and the cap will contain the candy. You can lick it, and then once you put it back in, some of that powder will stick onto the candy. So like I said, it will have more flavor with each lick. If you sense somebody's coming, just put it back, and that's it. Try it out, guys. It's super fun, and it works every time. Let me show you guys one of my supply boxes. I got nothing but crayons in here, but if you guys take a look a little bit close, you guys can see that I have a box of paper clips. Now these are all different colors, which, you know, it doesn't matter at this point. But what I like about this particular box is that the top portion is see-through and then the bottom portion is covered by its label. So I just figured, well, why not use that bottom portion to sneak some food into class? And that's what I'm gonna do right now, guys. To be able to pull that off, I'm also gonna need a crayon box. Of course, I don't need the crayons. I just need the little crayon box that it comes in. And this is a pretty plain box, 
but it is perfect for what we're gonna do. So first thing I'm gonna do guys is of course empty out all the paper clips. So the box should be empty. And that is a lot of paper clips. For a dollar, that is a good price. So now we gotta trim off the crayon box to the size of the paper clip box, but it's gotta be just the right size so that it's covered by the label. So let's get the right measurements. I got my line right there where I'm gonna make the cut. Actually had to undo the flaps so it'd be easier for me to cut. So I'm gonna reassemble everything. Now that the crayon box is just the right size, I'm gonna push it inside the box of paper clips. So it should be able to fit inside the bottom. And it sure does, guys. Look, I push it in and it's covered perfectly by the label. As you guys can see the top, you guys can see that the box is there. So that is perfect so far. Now inside of the crayon box, we have enough room to put whatever we want inside. Something that will fit in. So it's not like you guys can put a lot in there, but it might be just enough to keep you from being hungry in class. Since I love Takis, that's what I'm gonna be putting inside my crayon box. Let's take one out and see if it'll fit. And sure enough, it fits. So now we can stack a few in there. I was able to fit about eight Takis in there. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, guys, but when you're hungry, eight is perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna close up the box from the bottom. Now, as far as the top of the box of paper clips, we're just gonna put some paper clips back in there just to make it seem normal. So let's load it up. All right, that'll do. Well, actually, I put a lot of them in there. Yeah, that's perfect. We're gonna close it up. And at this point, our hack has been completed. It looks like a regular box of paper clips, right? You can't tell anything's wrong with it. So just keep it in your crayon box. Like I have it right here. No one's gonna suspect anything because it is a school supply. It belongs in the classroom. So when you guys get hungry, just take it out. Again, nobody's gonna suspect anything. Nobody should say anything. And when you guys get hungry, all you guys gotta do is open up the bottom, not the top, but the bottom where the Takis are at. And there they are, guys. And you guys can take them out and start eating them. Yeah, that's a couple mouthfuls of Takis. Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. So right here, I have a Slim Jim. It's a small Slim Jim, and it also comes with cheese. Well, this is a perfect snack to keep you from being hungry, but if you wanna be sneaky about this and eat it without anybody knowing, you're gonna to wanna to do the following. First, you will need a marker like this one. Now, this is a dry erase marker. So these are very common. This brand right here is very common, so you guys should already know what these are. Well, we're gonna use this to sneak our snack into class, but you gotta prep this at home, guys. You can't really do it in the classroom. So let's begin by popping out the back. Now this can get complicated guys because it's really hard and it's hard to remove, but it's totally doable. You might need a power tool. Now the best way to do it is to make a little opening under and then just pop it out. Here's what I'm gonna do guys. I'm gonna take my Dremel and just make a little opening on the center of this cap. All right, that works. Now we can easily pop it out. You could do this with a fork or anything that won't bend. But it's just that simple, guys. Look. So I was able to pop this out. Now I'm gonna take out the little tube that's inside. I'll need to pinch it with my scissors. But sure enough, it comes out. Now you might wanna clean the inside, but I'm not gonna be too worried about it because my little Slim Jim that I'm gonna put inside is gonna be covered by the wrapper. So at no time will it be touching the inside of this marker. Now I'm gonna trim off the excess plastic that's on there. We don't need all that. All right, so as you guys can see right here, the Slim Jim is a little bit bigger than the actual marker. So let's put the Slim Jim inside. And then we just gotta measure out what we're gonna be trimming off. And that's it guys. Let's put this inside, like so. And then put the cap back on. And that's it guys. Your marker will still work as normal and you'll still be able to use it. But if you guys get hungry, you guys know where your Slim Jim is at. So just resort to that, pop off the cap, and then just slide it out. And there it is guys, enjoy. You guys can eat it little by little or just all at once. It's your choice, just don't be hungry in class. If you guys love M&Ms, here's a really great way on how to sneak them in. Now you'll have to get the M&Ms that come in boxes like these, not the ones that come in little bags. So I got these at Walmart, you guys can too, for under a dollar. 
So if you got these, you're good to go. You're also gonna need a big eraser like this one. The bigger the better, that way you guys can sneak more candy into class. So let me show you how it's done. So basically guys, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna cut this eraser in three pieces. We're gonna be removing the center because the center we do not need. So with a blade or a knife or whatever cutting tool you have, begin cutting and the size is up to you guys. I want more candy in there so therefore I'm gonna cut a lot of this eraser off. So what I'm thinking guys is I'm gonna cut one inch from the edge on both sides. So for example right here about an inch from this end try to make it as precise as possible but that looks good enough and then I'm gonna repeat the process with the other side simple stuff right pranksters so this piece we do not need we only need these two pieces so now let's begin working on the M&Ms first what I'm gonna do is open up the box and for the time being I'm gonna dump them into a sandwich bag this is just temporarily. Now that the box is empty, we're gonna undo the flaps because we're gonna turn this box inside out. All right, so as you guys can see, I undid the box. I'm gonna turn it inside out. And this is where we're gonna start trimming off a few things. For example, we're gonna take the piece that we do not need from the eraser and that's gonna be our measuring tool. And notice I positioned it on the center of the box so I'm gonna take my trusty ruler and place it on the edge and then mark it. And on the other side, I'll do the same thing. All right, so far so good. Next, we're just gonna cut it off. And now at this point, we're left with this. So now guys, we're gonna position the box, as I said, inside out. We're gonna take both ends, barely sticking out of the box. So let's put them inside, just like this. So we get an idea of what we're gonna do with this side. We're gonna trim it off so it goes around, and then we're gonna stick it on with some tape or glue, your choice, so it looks like a regular eraser that just happens to have a wrapper around it. It's quite common. So I've made the folds, guys, and now I'm ready to stick them on. So the flaps will join together and make sure they're super, super tight on. That way the erasers are really snug on there. Now, as far as one of the ends, guys, we're gonna have to slide it out in order to put our M&Ms in there. Not sure how many M&Ms we can fit in there, but we'll see how many. So I was able to fit in 17 M&Ms. Now these M&Ms, guys, are pretty large. They're not like the mini ones. So if you got mini ones, you guys can fit a whole bunch in there. But for now, 17 will do. That's a lot because again, they are pretty huge. So let's put the other eraser back in there. And that is it guys. We have some M&Ms inside and this looks like a regular eraser. You just pull out the eraser and look, your M&Ms are right there. So if teacher approaches you, put it back real quick. And nothing to see here, it's just an eraser. A really big one. Right here I have a roll of clear tape. We all use this in the classroom. There's no way that you will not find a roll of clear tape in a classroom. And the thing about these is that they run out. So eventually you're gonna have to carry some backup rolls. And that is perfect because that's what we're gonna use for our next hack. So you're gonna need a bunch of these. For example, two or three will do. And then let me show you what to do next. Look at all these empty rolls of tape that I have right here. All I'm gonna do is just get the rolls. I don't need the case. So I'm gonna stack up three and leave a fourth one on the side. So here's one, two, and three. Now this stack of tapes, I'm gonna tape together. And for that, I'll be using some tape. This is what it should look like at this point. Now as for the bottom, all I'm gonna do is get a bottle cap, this from a water bottle, and I'm gonna jam the bottom, and it should fit perfectly, just like that. So now the bottom is blocked off, so there's nothing that can come out through there. Now the other roll of tape, we're also gonna block with another bottle cap. So now we're gonna put the other roll of tape on top, and all we need is one strip of tape. So now this will act as a little top that opens and closes like this. So inside we can put whatever we want. And me, I got a Three Musketeers right here, which I'm gonna jam inside. 
and store it in there. And no one will know it's there but you. So basically this is what it will look like. You put it in your supply box and that's it guys. Look, you have a Three Musketeers candy right there. You guys can also put small candy in there such as M&M's. And you just close it up and that's it. Here's a roll of tapes guys and I'll keep it handy right here next to my box of supplies. So nobody will get suspicious about this being out. I'm doing my work and I'm hungry. I want my M&M's and I know they're in there because I put them there. So what I'm gonna do is lift up the top roll and there they are guys at my disposal. And look how many I can fit in there. Just enough to get me through class and I won't be hungry and maybe I can get a bigger snack in between classes. But for now this will do. I've shown you guys many ways on how to sneak food into class using a pencil case. Well actually right here I got some crayons. We all need crayons in class, right? So this belongs in the classroom. So right now I'm gonna show you a really great way on how to use this to sneak candy in class. My candy of choice will be some Reese's Pieces. You can get these at Walmart just as long as they come in a box. Now about this project guys is that you will do some cutting therefore a power tool might be needed. You might need to get an older brother, sister or your parents to help you out with this because I don't want you guys getting hurt using a power tool. What I'm gonna do right now is use a Dremel. So let's get started with that. Here's our crayon box and inside it does have a lot of crayons. Well to get this going we're gonna have to empty out the whole thing and we're gonna set these crayons aside for now and whoop, there's one more in there and this is what we're left with an empty crayon box, pencil box, supply case, whatever you guys want to call it. I always get these confused with other things. Anyway, you guys have seen these. You guys can get them at Walmart for 99 cents. Probably less now. I got this on clearance for 50 cents, I believe. The candy that we'll be sneaking into class are these recess pieces. And they come in a box, as I mentioned. Look how easily you can store them in there. But it's not as easy to have access to them because you still have to open it up, right? But what would happen if we made a cutout on the side for us to get our candy? That would be much easier. So all we're gonna do guys is on the side, we're gonna make an outline, which would be about the same size as this edge right here. So get your measurements right and mark it right there guys, because that's where we're gonna make our cutout. I marked it for you guys. I did the best I could. It's not the best looking one. Like I said guys, we're gonna need some kind of power tool to cut this. You guys don't wanna use a blade or a knife because it's just too hard. So get an adult to help you make this cut. Here's my cut guys. Um, doesn't look that bad. Let's see if the box will fit through. Sure enough, it does. Look, haha. <laughs> well, of course, we're not gonna be taking out the whole box. We'll actually just have it lined up right there, guys, so that we have easy access to it. So once you align it properly, guys, I'm gonna actually put a crayon underneath for support. And then once it's in the spot where we want it to be, we are gonna tape it on. Wow, tape has been our best friend today, hasn't it? Just run a piece across it. Now we can put our crayons back in. So distribute them evenly. All right, so you can't really tell there's a box of Reese's in there, right? So you'll have this in class, guys, and look. Nothing fishy here, nothing fishy here, or over here. But this side, this is the side that's gonna be facing you. So all you guys gotta do is undo the flap on the bottom, and you'll have access to your candy. <laughs> Go back in there. So your teacher's view will be this side over here and your view will be this. You and only you will be able to see your candy. So guys, my candy is super accessible. I can just lift up the flap and get some Reese's. See, how simple is that? All right, I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> anyway, you guys can be eating in class and you will not get caught. Nobody should be suspecting anything if you did this right. All right, so for this hack, you're gonna need some poster board. This, I got at Walmart again for a buck, but this is perfect because it's gonna help us sneak large quantities of snacks and candy into class. So if you have a poster board like this, that's all you need, guys. Just gather your favorite snacks and do what I'm gonna do next. 
All right, so here's the poster board. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it up. So it should look a little something like this. And we're gonna use rubber bands to hold everything in place. So wrap the rubber bands around the poster. All right, so here it is guys. Three rubber bands I put on there. And this is the inside of this poster. And the inside is where we're gonna hide our snacks. And my choice of snacks will be Hot Cheetos Extra and Takis. Here I have some tissue paper, guys. So I'm gonna grab a stack of this and I'm gonna ball it up. And then I'm gonna put it inside my poster roll. Make sure it's very snug, guys. So do that and then push it in. Basically, the further in it goes, the more room you'll have for your snacks. And that's good enough for me. I'm gonna get some Takis next. And I'm gonna put some inside. All right, okay, that's plenty of Takis. Next, it's time for Hot Cheetos. All right, that's a good amount. And of course, we gotta close this up so we'll get more tissue paper. Ball it up and put it in there. And if somebody asks, just tell them that this is a project for art class so you can have this on your desk and nobody will suspect anything. Even if they do ask you about the tissue on there, tell them it's part of your project. They won't be able to see the chips in there unless they're Superman, but you can get away with sneaking chips into class. Okay, so here's my art project. It's a poster. Nobody can see it until I get to art class. See, there's nothing there. When you guys get hungry, because it will happen throughout the day, just pull this layer of tissue paper Pull it out. Since we put the Takis in first, I'll be able to get to them last. So first I gotta go through my Hot Cheetos Extra. And it's a simple way to eat in class, guys. And that's a lot of chips, by the way. I put half of the Hot Cheetos Extra in there and half of the Takis. So that's like a whole bag of chips. <laughs> but these are my favorite. So I'll be eating this and nobody will know that they're there. Now, of course, nosy teachers, right? They'll come around walking through the aisles, checking to see what people are doing, and that's when you guys put this back in. And nothing to see here, guys. There's no chips in there. They won't have any reason to question that there's chips in there. And that's how you guys can get away with sneaking chips into class. You guys already know that I love Hot Cheetos and I love Takis. I always use them in my videos. Now, I wanna be able to eat both of these in class. How can I sneak those in? Well, it's quite simple, guys. All I need is two crayon boxes like these. I got these at Walmart, 50 cents and 50 cents. So I spent a dollar, but that is perfect because I'll still be able to refill these once my chips are gone. And this is very easy to do. So let's get started on this. Let's start off by modifying these crayon boxes. So let's open them up. So you guys can see that there's actual crayons in there. Unfortunately, we don't need these crayons, so we will get rid of them. No, they're not gonna go in the trash. We're just gonna set them aside. So empty out both boxes. Goodbye, crayons. So now we have two empty boxes. We are gonna close them up. So put the flaps back in. Now I want you to notice something on this box. On the corner right here it says non-toxic. So if your food touches crayons or if you were to eat a crayon, you're not gonna die, guys, because they're non-toxic. But still, crayons don't taste good. So with that being said, let's continue working on these boxes. So have both your boxes side by side. Now the two sides that touch, for example, this side right here and this side, we are gonna cut out a little window on there. For example, I'm gonna take my blade right here and make that cut. Perfect. So now we have clear access to the inside of this crayon box. We will repeat this process with the other box. Again, it has to be that side that touches the other crayon box. So let's do that. And there it is, guys. Both boxes have cuts. We're gonna lay them flat and then join them together, just like that. We're gonna flip them over. And on the back, we're gonna put a big piece of tape.
right in the middle. So now this opens and closes just like this. Right now it looks like two boxes of crayons, right? If you look on the sides, bottom, the back, the top, nothing suspicious about them. But you open them and you have these openings right there. Well, on one box, I'm gonna put some Takis in there. Stand it up and try to get the shortest Takis that you can find. And we're gonna put them in just like that. All right, so I didn't keep count, but I can tell you that I put over 20 Takis in there. It might not look like it, but it is a lot of Takis, guys. And that's just one box. The other box I reserved for my Hot Cheetos Extra. And there it is, guys. One box has Hot Cheetos Extra, and the other box has Takis. So let's close it up. And you can't tell there's anything wrong with these boxes, right? They haven't been tampered with. They're just regular crayon boxes. What you do now is take your boxes, put them inside a supply box, close it up, and look. If it's clear, teachers can't tell there's anything wrong with this box. It contains two boxes of crayons. That's it. Nothing to see here. Have this handy on your desk and when you get hungry, you know where you guys can find food. Alright pranksters, one of the main concerns that I get from you guys usually when it comes to Takis and sneaking them into class is that you guys don't want your chips touching your crayons because basically what we're going to do is we're going to use our crayons to cover up our Takis. But some of you guys are picky and you guys just don't want your crayons touching your food and that's understandable even though these are non-toxic but still you guys don't want your Takis tasting like crayons, right? So here's what we're going to need for this hack guys. Like I said we need a pencil case like this one. The best thing about this pencil case is that I got it at Walmart on clearance for 10 cents. Great price guys. And guess what? While I was at Walmart, I also got me another pencil case. And this one was also 10 cents. To me, this is a very clever way to sneak food into class. It doesn't necessarily have to be Takis. It can be any kinds of chips. It can be Pop-Tarts, anything that's flat. So right here, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna have to sacrifice this case. That's kind of painful, but again, it was only 10 cents. So there's not much that was wasted. I'm gonna take my scissors, guys, and I'm gonna cut it in half. So I'm gonna split this box in two. Okay. So this is the bottom right here and this is the top. As far as the top, we do not need, so get rid of it. We only need the bottom. So here's what we're gonna do guys. We're basically gonna stack the box with the crayons on top of this half box right here. Just like so. And it looks like a normal pencil case right it does there's nothing fishy about this right you can't even tell if there's anything wrong with this but if you look inside there's a gap right there guys where you guys can put your chips so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull it out open up my Takis and start putting them in there they gotta be super flat though, guys. You cannot stack Takis on top of each other. So spread them out, make sure they're flat. Make sure that there's no Takis on top of other Takis. All right, that'll do. I can actually put more in there, but this is just the example. And look, now I put the box with the crayons on top. And that is it, guys. Your crayons and your Takis will not touch at all. So you don't have to worry about your Takis tasting like crayons. See? From a bird's eye view, you can't really see the Takis, right? And even though it's a clear box, it's a see-through box, you can't even see the Takis from the top. And when you want your Takis, you just lift up the top box and they'll be right there, guys, at your disposal. You put it back and that'll go back into hiding. Nobody will know but you that they're there. How clever is this, right? So you'll definitely fool your teachers and your classmates with this hack. Seriously guys, out of all the methods that I've been coming up with for the last couple years, this one right here is one of the best ones because it's very simple to do, it's very cheap to do, and again, your food will not be touching anything. It will not be touching any school supplies but the actual box, and that box should be clean. But anyway guys, you can be in class doing your work. You get hungry, you're craving your Takis. Just lift up the top box while holding the bottom one 
And there they are. How clever is that? This right here is a very, very large pen. Now when it comes to writing utensils, guys, as long as they work, I don't think your teacher should mind the size of your pencil, pen, or whatever it is that you're using. For example, this one I got at the dollar store. And it's a Paw Patrol. I've never really watched that. It's got a Dalmatian here, and I have one. So I, it was appealing to me, so I got this. Now this pen, we're gonna modify to sneak some M&M's Meanies into class. It's very clever. I really, really love this hack right here. And notice that the M&M's Meanies that I got are blue, just like the pen. Well, that is important, and you will see why. All right, so here's the pen. If you compare it to a normal pen, of course, there's a huge difference. Look at that. It's humongous compared to this little pen. But still, like I said, you're still allowed to bring these into school because they are a school supply and they still work as a school supply. They just happen to be big. Now, if you have one of these, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Paw Patrol one. You can definitely do this little life hack. What I like about this pen right here is that you can undo both ends. For example, we twist off the tip and inside you have the ink and the spring and all that stuff and it's pretty long actually this ink tube so there's one piece and then the top which is the clicker we can pull off as well this also has the clip on there now as far as this tube right here which is the body of the pan we do not need because we are gonna replace this and our replacement will be <laughs> This right here guys, M&M's Meanies. The container is just the perfect size as far as length to make a good replacement. And just so you guys can see inside, I have M&M's Meanies. This is a brand new container. All right, since we definitely want this pen to be able to work in class, we are gonna have to trim off the ink. Yeah, we do not need the spring. So let's put the ink back in there. See it comes out. This is where you determine where to cut. So basically, whatever sticks out has to go. So that part sticks out and I'm gonna have to cut it. Take your scissors and just make your cut. Just like that. So now that we trimmed off the ink, we are gonna glue the container of M&Ms with the tip of the pen. For example, like this. And for that, of course, I'll be using some hot glue. I'm gonna spread it around the edge and then join it with the container. And that's already looking like a pen, right? <laughs> so far so good, guys. Now as far as the top, which is the clicker and the clip, we do need to trim off a little bit so that we're able to glue this onto our new pen. So with a cutting tool or a power tool, make sure you get rid of the bottom. As far as the clicker, guys, I trimmed off a little bit. So now it'll fit even better on top of the container of M&M's Minis. So once we know it fits, we're gonna glue it on. So we're gonna spread some hot glue around it. Just like that. Our new pen is ready. I chose to keep the label of the M&M's Minis, but you guys don't necessarily have to do that. You guys can just peel it off and it'll be just a blue pen. But I thought it was cooler to leave the label on there and it looks like a regular pen, right? And it even works like a pen. Look how easy it is to get some M&M's. Pop the top open. Simple as that, guys. Now, once the, all the M&Ms are gone, it doesn't mean that you can't use this pen anymore. Of course, you can still write with it, but you can refill it with anything you want. For example, some Reese's Minis. These are just the perfect size, guys, and they slide in really easy. Look at that. It's full of Reese's Minis, and I just close it. And that's it. Let's see how many were in there. Oh, there's still some left in there. You can even put some Oreo Minis in there. Choose your snack wisely. Whatever you can fit in there, put it in there, guys. You shouldn't be hungry in class. Look at this pen. It works like normal. So, if I'm using this in class, nobody should suspect anything. Yes, it draws attention. And yes, they will question it. But it's a pen because you can clearly see that it works like a pen. But in reality, you don't need this pen. You need what's inside, which is your candy or any snack that you put in there. So just pop it open like this. And my M&Ms are still in there. See? You can eat little by little in class. 
and it'll get you through the whole day or at least a couple hours till you can find a snack but this definitely works guys and yes I left the M&M's label on there because I think it looks pretty cool don't you guys agree <laughs> if you do thumbs up is appreciated guys I'm telling you guys this is very clever whoever invented this pen wanted us to sneak food into class And that's it, pranksters. Those were my top 10 favorite methods of how to sneak food into class in 2018. If you guys agree with this list, I hope you like this video and you share it with your friends and family. Like I said at the start of this video, this is the last episode of the series, guys. We started with part one and now we're at part 30. And I'm gonna end it there, at least for now, but who knows in the future, I might just bring it back depending on how much you guys request these videos. So if you guys wanna see more, don't forget to give this video a big like and my other videos so that I know that you guys want this series back. But again, for now, I'll end it here, part 30. Thank you guys so much for the amazing support the last couple years. I really appreciate it, guys, and I hope you guys continue supporting my projects in 2019. I'll see you guys in my next video. Right here I have two delicious donuts, guys. I wanna take them into class and be able to eat them in class, but my teacher doesn't allow me to have donuts in class, or any sweets for that matter, so what can I do? How can I sneak these into class without getting caught? Well, the simple method is the following, guys. This last method is my favorite because you'll be able to sneak pizza into class without getting caught. Just throw them in there, guys. I gotta leave some room for my Hot Cheetos Extra. 